I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American style. Have you ever heard of what would you do? W-W-Y-D. Asian versions might say, what would you discard? For American style, that's good. But I think maybe a W-W-Y-P might work. What would you play? So let's do some Charleston modeling with that in mind. All my tiles are out, they've been mixed. We're just gonna say we're the dealer for these, so I'm gonna get 14 tiles. Wow, look at that, we got a pung. That's gonna weigh heavy. I'm thinking 369. Let's play the 369 category. That way it will use maybe every multiple. So for this set of tiles, I think we could go ahead and discard those three. I think that's probably one of the best passes you can do. Odd, even, two suits with a wind. In the comment section, write what you think is the best pass. To me, this is the best kind of pass. Oh, I forgot to make the Charleston. Here we go. Okay, here we go. White, green, west one, two. I'm gonna mix that up a little. Let's do a one, west one, green. Oh, if you get a joker, just exchange it. Oh, we got a three, six, look at that. Three, six, nine, two, five, white. Three, three, six, six, nine. Three, three, six, six, nine. That clearly points to the second hand down under the 369 category. I usually do not like passing white dragons, but we're so close in here with no gaps, I'm gonna risk it. No keepers. We can pass. Okay, no keepers there. Oh, this would be a really risky pass for a year. So I'm thinking I would rather break this up a little bit. Let's pass these three. Passing tiles. Let's pass that with a south. There's a keeper, maybe. Ooh, and a flower. Oh, and a three. So what I would probably do here is maybe even play a pair hand. The 369 pair hand, third from the bottom. I'd say I want to pass one blind. Oh, like numbers. So discards, probably three discards if we play, well, four discards if we play a pair hand. The other option might be to play the last hand under 369 concealed we'd have to throw this away either way we have four discards 369 with single sixes i think i would just keep them all though and see if that pair hand comes in if you would have done something differently with these tiles write it in the comment section let's go on to the next one Okay, here we go, next one. Okay, I build around multiples. I think this is the strongest strategy. I next look at what we have remaining and use what I can to support this pair or this multiple, because it could be a pung. So I think either Five, six, seven, eight, or three, six, nine might even work. Five, six, seven, eight. There are some hands that use dragons with the consecutive run category and even three, six, nine. And that leaves us with tiles we can pass. Let's pass these three. 
fives. So I think consecutive run probably is going to be good here. Let's give up a green. Five, six, seven, six. Yeah, let's pass these three. I was thinking about a knitted capability there, but we have no four to use that green dragon with a five, and we're too far from the nine. And we would need, if we use the six in the middle, we'd need the white, which we have. So let's see what we can do here. Seven, five, six, seven, eight, consecutive run. And we have tiles to pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand. Consecutive run, looks like here's a nine and a seven. We have one discard and then a white dragon, which I don't like to pass. So now we pick a hand. We have five, six, five, seven, eight, nine, five, seven, nine. I think probably the four dot for sure can go. Five, six, seven, eight. There's that consecutive run hand, second one down. Five, six, five, seven. Five, seven, nine is also maybe something that we could play. Let's go ahead and give up the nine. And this way we could play consecutive run and pass one of each suit. Flower, five. Now we have two pair plus here's a seven, eight. And then we have nine, seven, nine. So we have five, six, seven, eight. I'm thinking that's probably the strongest option using all the multiples except of course that nine. Now we could do six, seven, let's see, five, six, seven. I'm thinking about the consecutive run that uses mixed suit, but we don't have the right tiles. We would need five, six, we'd need a seven dot in pairs, and then um, we would need seven crack. That is a possibility though. Let's go ahead and pass these three. So I'm thinking this the this would be the fourth hand down under consecutive run. We have a gap though. We need four dot. Let's see. We passed it a while ago. Four, five, six. Let's see. No, it would be five, six, seven, eight in cracks, nine. So we'd have to throw away the seven. I try to use the multiples. Okay, we got a six. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's break this. Oh, we need to give up that joker there. And there's a one, two, nine. Let's break up the nine so we can do a full pass on last right. Seven, we got a seven. And we have three tiles. I don't like passing like numbers. I think that's just as bad as passing a pair. So I'm gonna pass one blind. Oh, look, we got that four dot, four, five, six, seven, eight, bam, maybe. We have three discards, really four discards, probably. I think I would play five, six, seven, eight, the second hand down under consecutive run. So we have four discards, which is not bad. I think if you have four discards after the Charleston, that is a sign of good decision making. We could pung that, that's already punged. Kong here, all we need is an eight or another joker to get set for that particular hand. And there is still some flexibility if we happen to get eight bams to play the mixed suit consecutive run hand, fourth one down, which is a 30 point hand. So I'd probably hold that for a while. Discard those first. If you would have done something differently here, write in the comment section, random pull two, and what you would have done, and we'll go on to the next one. Okay, I think little odds We've got a pair of threes, and we do have three, five, five, nine. 
I think I would get rid of definitely the eight and the two. If we pass those three, it's a little risky, but here we have all little odds or odds and maybe even some consecutive run with three, four, five. So let's go ahead and discard these three and see what happens. We got ones. One, three, one, three, five, one, three, five. I think definitely little odds is going to be the way to go here. One, three, five. Just hold all little odds. One, three, five. That gives us tiles to pass. We got a four. We just gave it up. Okay, here's a green and a, red, a white. Maybe those will help. Let's go ahead and pass these. A little bit risky being all evens, but we're set up pretty well here with one, three, five, seven, one, three, five odds, little odds specifically. So now we have white dragons. So if we played one, three, three, five, that would be one option. Another option would be one, three, five with dragons. We can't keep it all, so we have to discard something. If we have one, three, three, five, one or threes like numbers with dragons, oh, that's a little risky, but I wanna leave myself options. I'm thinking maybe even switching to like numbers with threes. Let's just count to see what we have here. So we have four, eight with joker bait versus one, three, three, five. Let's say one, let me see, eight. Uh, really, we could maybe even use the flower for like numbers with the three, three green and the flower. That would leave four discards with joker bait. If we played one, three, five, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. I think like numbers is going to be the way to go and that gives us tiles to discard one three let's let's break the five from the six and pass those exchange any jokers there's a five seven four okay one two three four five six seven we're kind of in between we're on last right so let's see here we don't have any we don't have any um, jokers to work with. So here we have seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine, eight, seven, and eight. I think I would pass one blind. Stay flexible. Okay, so for optional cross, we have two to pass. So I would pass one blind again. Okay, so we have two discards, but, and we're in between little odds or like numbers with threes. Nat. Discard those first, and then I would be in between little odds or like numbers with threes. Hopefully the picking would show me the way to go if I paired up maybe the green dragon or another three, I would switch to like numbers. If I picked into the one, three, five little odds, then I would use the three and the white as joker bait. Either way, we have two pair of joker bait. Now the one, three, five option is 25 points versus the like numbers is 30. So it's a little higher value hand. So I might actually go for like numbers and use those as joker bait. That was kind of a hard one. If you would have done something differently, write it in the comment section what you would have done with random pull three. What would you play with any of those? Random pull one, two, three. Write them in the comment section. You know, this game is so flexible, you could really make anything work. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder, as it were. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.